Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, it's vlog number six, I believe, and uh, holy cow, I'm done six and guys, I've gotten some pretty cool responses from these and uh, I get a lot of questions now and even more emails to say, hey, could you discuss this, could you discuss that? And um, so yeah, I'm, I'm here to, uh, to, to keep doing that. If you guys keep liking this, I'll, I'll keep doing it. So. All right, so what are we gonna talk about today? But uh, before we get going, um, make sure to, of course, I feel like I gotta repeat myself in every video. I don't know why, but be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and hit, be sure to hit that notification bell. And uh, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can uh, send us a PayPal donation to keep this content going, keep this content alive. And I come out here week after week to you know, keep you guys the how-to tips to keep that vintage scene going and keep your bugs and or any other vintage Volkswagen on the road. So uh, whatever you can afford is fine with us and uh, we appreciate you. And on the topic of coffee, check this out guys. I got this coming in. I'm dipping into the coffee business. I don't know if you can read that. It says mutts and bugs. Chris, what the hell is mutts and bugs? Well, all right. My wife on the back, you see her with her pooch. She is an animal nurse, she's a vet tech, and she works at three different animal hospitals here in Rockland County. And uh, she's very passionate about animals. She loves doggies and, and things and rescuing animals. So, um, and of course we have a little pooch and uh, she's growing on me. <laughs> but um, so what we're doing is mutts and bugs. We're combining both of our passions and we're selling different, three different types of coffee. And it's the whole coffee bean that you gotta grind up. And uh, so we're gonna sell a, a Guatemalan, Colombian and espresso beans and they're from medium to dark and uh, so two pound bags and uh, what's going to be nice is a little percentage of that sale is going to go towards sheltered animals, uh, animals in need, animals that need to be adopted. Uh, so uh, pretty cool cause that we're doing and we're putting this together and uh, another little side venture of ours that we're uh, looking into so be on the lookout for that. Um, so what's happening? Uh, we're wrapping up. We wrapped up Bill's '66 sunroof beetle. It's the end of uh, we're at the end of June here, and next weekend is Fourth of July weekend. So I probably won't do a video next weekend. Uh, but um, ne uh, we finished up Bill's car, and I gotta tell you guys, I put in the about 400 miles on it. That car is awesome, and Bill wanted some upgrades on the car that I don't normally do. So I'm going to discuss them here with you before I get to work. I think seven practical upgrades that you can put onto your vintage Volkswagen uh, that, you know, some of these things in the list are, very, are really economical to give your car a boost, to give your car a nice little stylized touch. Um, they're not just thrown on the car just because. Uh, they do all have a purpose, and I really like uh, what he wanted on this car and I'm gonna you know disclose them to you right now and again no in particular order um, and again some of them are very practical and economical and some you might have to dish out a little bit more money but it's for a good good reason so let's see number one I'll start off with the most expensive one uh, probably the disc brake conversion kit the and you can just get it for the front now the price uh, varies depending on how complete of a kit that you want anywhere from two hundred dollars to fifty all the way up to four hundred dollars I've even seen about four fifty five hundred dollars depending and we got the kit for the bolt-on ball joint uh, front end kit for a 66 67 beetle and what's nice is that it, it come it, we got the whole complete kit that came with the master cylinder the lines the pads the rotors all the hardware that you need to just bolt on for a stock uh, to go on a stock rim to keep your five lug rim a uh, really cool kit and guys I'm gonna have all of the uh, links in the description below the video of where you can purchase these kits um, some are on Amazon some are on sip one uh, but the front disc brake conversion kit is really really cool I didn't think I was gonna like disc brakes and ideally I don't really go for it just because we have more show cars and I'm not using them as daily drivers and I don't really soup up my motors uh, to give them you know crazy horsepower or anything where you would need uh, disc brake conversion so instead um, oh, that's my fuel going there. Uh, gotta get some gas. Um, but yeah, disc brake conversion kit, really cool to have. And uh, I'm telling you, the stopping power was just phenomenal. So if you're gonna have a daily driver or you're gonna have a car that, 
It has a little bit more horsepower. Uh, really, really good to have. I mean, um, the car almost feels like a new car, brand new car. That's what's awesome about it. So uh, definitely look at the disc brake conversion kit for the front. Uh, you know, but again, if you're going to be having your car sit for a while through the winter, and if it's going to be staying outside and, and such, the disc brake conversion kit might not be ideal because those rotors get kind of rusty, and sometimes those pads can get stuck to the rotors. Uh, so it's something ideal for you're going to be driving around frequently, um, or at least a few times a week. Uh, so as we're talking about the disc brake conversion kit, we're going to segue into. Uh, Second one on the list, I'd say, is the dual master cylinder. I do like a dual master cylinder, even on the earlier cars. Now, I did a video on this uh, prior, um, a few months ago, on, on a dual master cylinder. And I know it could be a little problematic to set up in an earlier car uh, that has just a, um, a single reservoir. But uh, there are ways you can rig that up. Dual master cylinder, again, guys, if one of the brakes fails, you do have others to help, uh, the other brakes to help. So. Uh, and I'm just noticing, you know, dual master is a little more reliable as far as like coming out of the fat, you know, getting a brand new part. For some reason, some of these single master cylinders that we're getting, um, I, you know, right, they're brand new and, and they're failing. So um, I always got to order a second one and then usually the second one turns out to be okay. But uh, anyways, dual master cylinder, really good. That's number two. Um, number three, I would say... Um, the LED front LED headlights um, since we're staying in the front of the car uh, yeah guys uh, vintagecarleds.com and um, I'm helping these guys out uh, really cool kit now they offer six volt headlights I did a LED video a few years ago on a 70 convertible so go check that out and um, they were sending me uh, samples to review and uh, I gotta say yeah I mean, they're bright as hell. They take less power. Um, they're really, you know, they got that white light to them, the white bluish light. Really cool. See, far as the eye can see almost. <laughs> it's just, you know, they're really much better than going with, you know, the standard, you know, halogen, uh, the, the beetle bulb, you know. Six volts, of course, they got their own problems. It's not as bright. Uh, so I do have a link in the description below. Now you can get six and 12 volt. You can get the basic kit, you know, pretty much anywhere, like about $180, $200, something like that, uh, depending on which kit you want to get. A very basic kit, I think, is around 200 ish um, you know, maybe 210 something. But if you go there, use the coupon code Classic VW Bugs, and that'll give you 10% off uh, the kit. So really cool for that. VintageCarLEDs.com. Link in the description below where you can buy your front headlights uh, just be sure when you have those in readjust your headlights correctly you don't want them coming straight at the oncoming traffic because LED headlights could be kind of strong uh, to some people so you want to make sure you got them somewhat on an angle you know they're pointed downward towards the road but still giving you the depth uh, the length uh, so where you can see you know you just don't want them up up off and you know up into the trees and such so use those screws on the headlight uh, bucket the headlight assembly to adjust the, the position of that so okay we talked about three uh the next one we're going to talk about i guess will be big bore piston and cylinder kit guys 1641 we went from uh, bill's car a 1300 cc motor we big boarded up to 1641 i think it's a no-brainer from 1300 all the way up to 1600 you know the price is is negligible i mean it's about the same if not the same as the standard kit uh, I'm seeing the AAs, the basic AA kit, you can get for about $187, $188, just under 200 bucks, and you get a 1641 bolt on right into the block uh, for 1500 and 1600 1300 it bolts right into the block, but you will have to get uh, 1500 or 1600 heads uh, to work with that. Uh, stock 1300 heads don't work with the 1641. But if you have a, six, a 1500 motor or a 1600 motor, perfect. Uh, go with a 1641, man. It gives you just that little bit extra boost. And uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can't go wrong there. So I definitely recommend that. Again, link in the description below. All right, so that's number four, right? I said seven, didn't I? Yeah, I said seven. <laughs> so while we're at the back of the motor, while you have that 1641, what's the best thing to get to give you even a little extra horsepower, maybe three to four extra horsepower? get fatter tips right so you get the the tips the the tailpipes that get fat on the end they slip into the stock motor again no modification here we don't want to do that we want to keep everything you know working as it should and for about $35 you can get chrome 
uh, tapered tips to work with your uh, uh, your Volkswagen and then your uh, with that big bore and you put those those fatter tips on I'm telling you you're getting that extra boost it breathes better I spoke about this with the Abarth muffler but I'd be honest the Abarth muffler is 600 bucks and you know what those fatter taper tips have less back pressure even than the Abarth so go figure I mean for $35 you can get a fatter tip and you get a nice sound if you hear this sound on this motor, you know, with those fatter tips, it sounds like a really nice, nice rod, man. You know, a nice, nice beetle. So take a listen. So fatter tips, that's a wonderful thing to do, guys. And for $35, I got the link in the description below. For a little bit extra, I think I paid on a new set coming in about $45 and it's stainless steel. Uh, but the, the standard tips are just fine. All right, so that's number five. And let's see, number six, let's talk about three-point lap belt. Three-point seat belt, guys, awesome. Uh, you know, I again, 62 and later Beetles will accommodate this because they have... Uh, the threads in the door post area to help you uh, mount the three-point lap belt. If you got something earlier, you would have to rig something up or do some uh, welding and add a, you know, uh, some some threads into the door post. But I don't like doing that kind of thing. So, uh, 62 and later beetles, three-point lap belt, and uh, you know you, we picked those up from J Bugs. I think they were also. Uh, don't quote me on it. I'll have the price in the description below. But um, you can go to jbugs.com. And pick that that point that three point lap belt up. I think it's over maybe one hundred fifty dollars, one hundred eighty dollars too as well uh, to pick that kit up. It's ready to go. And um, yeah, I mean when I have the strap on, just kind of like what I have it here under my new car, the, the car feels new. You feel more new uh, with the car, especially with the disc brakes and the better um, the better motor and the fatter tips. This car just stopped awesome, moved awesome. I can travel from here to California uh, to this car without a hitch. And it just, it was comfortable. It, I felt safe to drive on, uh, in, in this vehicle. And finally, last but not least, most likely the cheapest item on the list that you can get um, for about six or seven dollars the quick shift. Uh, the, you, you buy this little plate that mounts underneath your, your shifter housing, and all of a sudden you got a quick shift for six or seven bucks, as opposed to buying like a Gene Berg quick shifter. Or one of those T-handle quick shifters, or I've seen that one that has the ball and has the trigger finger on it. Um, you know, you're paying six, seven dollars for something that does basically the same thing. Um, so I thought that was a pretty cool add-on as well. And uh, you know, some of the earlier Beetles, like the '50s Beetles, they had that really long sh uh, throw when you shift. It's got a really long uh, and a and a, and a uh, bigger uh, shift arm. It's a, it's a thicker shift arm. And so it has a much as much longer throw so quick shift yeah man you can't beat it um, why not so these are the additions that we added guys and uh, I think they were very cool additions very cool things to add to your beetle and uh, why not I mean most of them are budget very budget friendly the only thing that's not very ba maybe budget friendly are the, the the headlights are a little bit more money of course than buying a basic bulb um, the uh, the big bore piston and cylinder kit and then maybe the disc brake conversion kit. So really, like under $1,000, you're doing some really cool upgrades to the car that make it very practical uh, and make it you know, a safer feel, safer drive. So, all right, guys, that's vlog and a how-to and parts, yeah, all in one. So, because uh, I had some problems earlier in this week with my camera, I didn't realize I was doing some how-to videos and I'm, and I'm recording myself and the, the microphone's batteries went dead and it was all staticky and such, so uh, I, try to condense it all down at the end of this week so all right guys chris again from classic bugs.com what is that shadow right in my face what the chris again classic bugs.com enjoy your weekend i probably won't see you guys until after fourth of july weekend so happy fourth of july to everybody go celebrate go drive some bugs shoot off some fireworks and have fun and uh have some good barbecue all right guys take care um, um, um.